On today's adventure, we're on our way to Emancipation Mine, approximately 15 kilometers from Hope, British Columbia. Stay tuned to the end of the video for some links to some awesome videos that really go in depth into mine exploration. When the river comes up too high to do any real prospecting, we love little adventures involving hiking, off-roading, or anything to do with our gold rush history. This is a beautiful area of the province, but it is notorious for late season snowfall that can extend right into spring. On this drive, you can expect a few washouts and a couple downed trees in your path. So travel safely with a four-wheel drive equipped vehicle, and we suggest a chainsaw and recovery gear at all times. On our adventures, sometimes it is the trip not the destination, that end up revealing the treasure that we're seeking. On the route to the mine, we come across some awesome views of Ladner Creek Trestle Bridge. The Ladner Creek Trestle Bridge was part of the Kettle Valley Railway, which opened in 1915 and was abandoned mostly in 1961. The construction of the railway opened up the area to prospecting and mineral exploration. This led to the discovery of the Emancipation Gold Mine. It is important to note this is not the way to access the trestle via foot. To do that, park at Shylock Road exit and follow the easy trail from there. There are a few nice waterfalls crossing our path along the way. However, as much as this water looks clean, it runs straight from the Carolyn mine site right above us, and I wouldn't risk drinking that. As we approach the mine, you can certainly see the poor condition that it's in. This mine contains five adits. I'll put him in the truck. It's a full family event today. We've got Tiana and Rocco out on this exploration. Rocco, come here. Two of the adits are very obvious, right at road level. There is one further up, roughly 30 meters higher, which is basically caved in. Jeremy hiked it up there to have a quick look. Need to keep Rocco away from the entrance while Jeremy's working up top. Old rail lines. So I gave up on this one really quick. It's a dead end. You can see some quartz lines in the end there. But this one it goes in about 25 feet and then do a complete dead end. See some drill marks. Well, they're chasing some, some quartz. Lots of quartz there. And the ceiling looks good. Oh, this is so creepy. 20, 20 feet. Yeah. Here we go over the edge in search of one of the lower adits, which we didn't find. Do you want the rope? Yes, Roger. Now I know what you're thinking. These guys didn't even explore the mine. Well, you're right. Exploring mines, shafts, and other pits like this requires special experience, some tools, and you probably shouldn't have your children with you. Although COVID's winding down in the province of British Columbia, it's still not a good idea to mingle with others outside of your friends group. So check out these suggested videos for what we're calling a virtual collaboration with Exploring Abandoned Mines and Adventures Are Us. Both of these YouTubers do an awesome job of exploring the inside of this mine. Please take a moment, subscribe to our channel, give us a like, feel free to comment, and hopefully see you on the trails.